Hello, welcome to Microsoft Azure Cloud Channel. In this module, we will talk about what is Azure Event Grid and what are event sources and handlers, what are the capabilities of Azure Event Grid and what we can do with Azure Event Grid. And I will log into Azure portal. I will create a virtual mission and logic app. And I will show you how to monitor virtual mission changes by using Azure Event Grid and Azure Logic App. What is Azure Event Grid? Azure Event Grid is a single service for managing routing of all events from any source to any destination. It is designed for high availability, consistent performance, and dynamic scale. Azure Event Grid lets you focus on your app logic rather than infrastructure. And you can simplify your event-based applications with Event Grid. Azure Event Grid allows you to easily build applications with event-based architectures. Select the Azure resource you would like to subscribe to and then give the event handler or webhook endpoint to send the event to. In the diagram, you can see overview of Azure Event Grid. Event sources. The following Azure service support sending events to Event Grid. Azure App Configuration, Blob Storage, Container Registry, Event Hubs, IoT Hub, Key Vault, machine learning, maps, media services, resource group, service bus, signal, or, and subscriptions. And about event handlers, currently the following Azure services support handling events from Event Grid. Azure Automation, Functions, Hubs, Relay Hybrid Connections, Logic Apps, Power Automate, Service Bus, Queue Storage, and Webhook. There are five concepts in Azure Event Grid that let you get going. There are five concepts, events, event sources, topics, event subscription, and event handlers. Events are about what happened. Event sources, where the event took place and topics, the endpoint where publishers send events. Event subscriptions, the endpoint are built-in mechanism to route events, sometimes more than one handler. Subscriptions are also used by handlers to intelligently filter incoming event. Event handlers, the app or service reacting to the event. Here are some key features of Azure Event Grid. Simplicity, advanced filtering, fan out, reliability, pay for event, high throughput, built-in events, custom event. Let's talk about simplicity. Point and click to aim events from your Azure resource to any event handler or endpoint. And reliability and pay for event. You pay only for the amount you use event grid. High throughput, build high volume workloads on event grid with support for millions of events per second. Built-in events, get up and running quickly with resource defined built-in events. What can I do with event grid? Azure event grid provides several features that vastly improve serverless Ops automation and integration work. Serverless application architecture. If you see in the diagram, the top one, the first diagram shows serverless application architectures. Event grid connects data sources and event handlers. For example, use event grid to trigger a serverless function that analyzes images when added to a block storage container. 
Second one, ops automation. Event grid allows you to speed automation and simplify policy enforcement. For example, use event grid to notify Azure automation when a virtual mission or SQL database is created. Use the events to automatically check that service configurations are compliant. Put metadata into operations, tools, tag, virtual mission, or file work item. Last one, application integration. The third diagram shows application integration. Event create connect your applications with other services. For example, create a custom topic to send your application event data to event grid and take advantage of its reliable delivery, advanced routing, and direct integration with Azure. Or you can use event grid with logic apps to process data anywhere without writing code. How much does event grid cost? Is Azure Event Grid uses a pay for event pricing model. So you pay only for what you use. The first 100K operations per month are free. Operations are defined as event, ingress, subscription, delivery items, management calls, and filtering by subject suffix. I will log into Azure portal now. I will create a virtual mission and logic cap, and I will show you how to monitor virtual mission changes by using Azure Event Grid or logic cap. Example, if anyone delete virtual mission, if anyone stop virtual mission, we can monitor by using Azure Event Grid. I'm in the Azure portal now. I will go to home and go to virtual mission. I'll create virtual mission. Click on add. I'll create a resource group. Let's say event create resource group. And I will say virtual mission name, virtual mission one, region, east, US, and Ubuntu. And then size, I will choose the low price VM size. And then password, authentication type, password. And allow selected ports SSH. Let's go to disk. I will choose standard HTTP. In management, I will turn up boot diagnostics. And let's create this virtual mission. While this virtual mission deployment in progress, I will go to home and go to search. I will just look for logic apps. Let's create logic app. Let's create this logic app under the event grid resource group. So we'll say logic app name event grid 30. It is available location is to use log analytics of go to review and create this logic app now our logic app is created i will go to resource then go to development tools i'm in the logic app overview I will go to development tools under the development tools. Click on logic app designer. And then you can see scroll down. You can see the templates blank logic app. Click on blank logic app. And our virtual mission also created. 
Okay, so here I will just type event grid. Choose triggers when a resource event occurs. Azure event grid. And then we need to sign in using Azure account. And I just signed in and then subscription. We need to choose we need to choose subscription and resource type. And resource group, let's go to Microsoft dot resources dot resources group resource name event grid resource group and event type when action success and then let's say when delete success when write success these are the three items I just selected. We just optionally added these event types to detect, to detect when resources are changed or deleted in this event grid resource group. So let's go. Now let's just add another action add a condition I just say condition so condition control click on condition control and we need to choose a, a value just, just say expression i'll just copy this trigger body data operation name And let's click on OK. And then the next condition is where the action equal to, we can choose the action. I will just add virtual mission. If someone deletes or make changes, virtual mission, we will get notified through this event grid. So you can let's change let's rename the condition. If you have virtual mission, in event grid resource group has changed. Now we just added this condition. Now, if you want to get notified through email, you can select add an action and just click on email. And then here you can see the email. I'll just go to, you can choose. Outlook email. let's just say send email so here you can choose this send an email outlook or you can choose gmail or any other email so if a virtual mission changed in resource group if someone tries to delete or when they delete or if they if someone makes changes you can get notified through this email so once you add this condition you need to sign into the microsoft uh, the account outlook account and you can try using like you know or stop virtual mission or and then you will get a notification so this is how we monitor virtual mission changes or any other resources changes by using Azure Event Grid and Logic Caps.
if you have any questions on this Azure event grid, please post it in the comment section. If you like this video, please subscribe and share the channel. Thank you.